Lucas Oil Pro Motocross had a weak break between Washougal and Unadilla, but during that break, all eyes were focused on the sport's next rising stars at the famed Loretta Lynn's Dude Ranch in Hurricane Mills, Tennessee, for the Rocky Mountain ATVMC Amateur Motocross National. Now, Loretta Lynn's is a week-long amateur motocross race, and every amateur racer in the country dedicates their life to it by spending countless hours at the practice tracks, getting ready for the heat and pressure and intensity every year. And this year, the action on the track was hotter than ever, with the nation's best battling for those precious number one plates. And they had to fight hard, because the entire industry is down there on a scouting mission, looking for the next Ricky Carmichael or Ryan Dungey. The Red Lens is the place to be to reach the next level in motocross. So let's meet some of the top names that made their mark at the ranch last week. Loretta's is pretty much so important because it's the biggest amateur race every year. 20 minute motos, which are pretty much the longest motos that amateurs will do a year. You got the fastest guys here, you have to qualify, like it's a process. If you have to pick one race to do good at, it's this race every year. My week was amazing. Uh, I got the championship in 250A and I got third in uh, Pro Sport on a 250. So that was definitely a great accomplishment for me. The week here at Loretta Lens went great. Ended up winning an Open Pro Sport Championship and top it all off, came away with the Horizon Award. I honestly really wasn't expecting to get it and to be on the list of names of people who have got it is it's amazing. It means everything to me. Yeah, the week here at Loretta's didn't go exactly the way I wanted everything to. I ended up two second overall, second 250A and second 450A. Spent 10 years at this place here at Loretta's, last race here, so I'm pretty excited to move on to the next chapter of my life. Competition at Loretta's is uh, stacked. Everyone revolves around this race their whole year. This year at uh, Loretta Lens, the track was insane. They added a bunch of sand everywhere, so the track got super gnarly, deep ruts. Back in California, we don't ever experience this kind of riding. Come back next year and be more prepared. I think Loretta is definitely the most fun race. I mean, it's a week long. I mean, they got the swimming pool, the creek, rope swing. You can pretty much find it all here at Loretta's. If I have an early morning moto and I can ride in the morning and then just go do whatever in the afternoon, I'll do something like ride the pit bikes and ruckuses back and forth to town because you don't get service here. So me and all my friends are constantly looking for service. Play in the creek a lot and uh, hang out with my friends, watch some movies, stuff like that. Today at Unadilla, some of these racers are going to move to the next chapter of their racing careers and they'll see how they stack up against the best in the world. My expectations for Unadilla are to put in the top 15 get some good starts and just ride consistent and find a flow and try to mix it up with the big guys. My expectations for Unadilla are to come away with two top 15 finishes. It's going to mean everything to me because this is my past 12 years of my life have been put towards this so to finally make it happen is really exciting. I started working with Justin Barsha at the beginning of this year. I ended up going to his house to ride a little bit and we ride with each other and mountain bike race and I mean I can't thank him enough for everything he's done for me. And at the same time there are many notable names waiting in the wings for their chance to mix it up in the near future at Lucas Oil Pro Motocross. It's a little ways down the road still. It should be coming up real soon. Hope for next year, first round uh, outdoors. Yeah, this year was my first year with the uh, Troy Lee Design Lucas Oil Red Bull KTM team. In the next couple months, I will improve on the bike and off the bike even more and hopefully represent them even, even more and even better. Right now, my plans as far as going pro, I'm looking at Hangtown 2016, riding for Monster Energy Pro Circuit Kawasaki, so I'm really pumped on that. We'll see what we can do. I'm excited to go mix it up. I'm going to be a little nervous, but at the same time, I'm a rookie. I got nothing to lose. I just got to go out there and make a statement, so I'm going to try to come in hot. Try to go get the win, but uh, it's going to be tough. Everybody in the 250 class is riding super good right now. I'm just pumped to get in there and mix it up with them next year.